Hello everyone, my name is Jack, the Tabletop Scan Man. Um, in today's video I'm going to show you how I calibrated the Reverpoint Mini so that I can get the best detail that I can out of such a cheap bit of kit. What you'll need to do this is this little checker plate thing that you get in the plastic wallet along with other stuff in uh, the box for the Revopoint Mini. You'll need your Revopoint Mini and a laptop or a PC or something to plug it into. Um, if you've not run your Revopoint Mini from the PC before, get familiar with that setup because it's going to help you out. Alright, um, let's jump on a PC and uh, see what we need to do. Here. Okay, let's log in as me and then go to Revo Point. Go to this their official site. Go up to support. Go to forum. Type in here calibration software. Hit enter. Where do I find calibration software? Scroll down. It. You want to find Windows Mac calibration software beta version. Basically, download that, get your software, and then open it up. So, you open up the calibration software. Let's connect the camera. Yep. Select your mini. So, we'll go to camera calibration, reverse the example, place the calibration board, and complete the shooting. So, I found that, yeah, that's okay. The things you got to pay attention to is like this, the shape of this here. So for this first one, we're going to just take the board on its own and then make sure that the three dots there are facing you and the one dot is facing away, away from you. And we're going to put that on a flat surface and then we're just going to scan that with the scanner. What it'll ask you to do is do like a straight on then it'll ask you to move it to the side and then to the side. It's important that you set up that your scanner is like perpendicular to your surface at all times. And just keep that going. But it will guide you. It does know when it's off and it will tell you if something's wrong. So just bear that in mind. I'm hoping that picks this up. So for me, I've found you need like two points of contact. You set it up on the screen. Otherwise I get a bit too jittery. I don't know, maybe I'm just getting older. Eh? So you need to put this little guy, this little leg here, I'm hoping you can see that, where you've got these three boards, you want to put that on there. And again, three towards yourself, with one facing away. It's got videos on the software, should be easy enough to read. Lord knows I've done it enough times and fuck, I still get it wrong. So. Now what you want to do is turn what you've just done 90 degrees left. I'm going to say left. We'll go that way. Okay, let's see if it picks it up. Should be able to get it from the from the pattern on here, match it with the screen. And that's all of it done so I mean 
it's up to you what you want to do. It will give you a little thing which I'll show you now, uh, which tells you what your accuracy should be. But I mean, 0 0.07. I mean, I think I can get that better. I've had that better before. So what I'll do is I'll do it again. But this time I won't try and film it and talk over it so that I can concentrate on keeping really still, really aligned in those points and seeing what happens. So, cool. Just wanted to show that the standard deviation I managed to get in the end was 0 0.0521. Uh, it took a lot of uh, control of my breathing <laughs> and uh, playing around with it a bit. But yeah, we, I got there. So I just want to show the process now. So I just want to go uh, update calibration file and then I'll update the calibration file for the, the Rever Point Mini. And then boom! Calibration parameters written successfully. The scanner will restart automatically to take effect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you're good. Your, your mini's calibrated. You know you're getting at least the best accuracy that you can get out of it. Um, the only thing I think to add is maybe like a... See the... the well, I've got the tri camera on a tripod at the minute. <laughs> but I'd maybe add... Um, like an attachment to the end of the tripod here, so where I've got the camera, maybe I'll print something up that holds the uh, end of the mini or something, so that you can guarantee that you've got the right height and you've kept perpendicularity, and then all you've got to do is move that this cheeky plate thing around um, to match what it needs you to match. But yeah, thanks for watching.